third. Matthew Central is here, second in the USA 5K champs. A lot better than your last road race in New York. Uh, oh, 5th MR, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how, I know how, you're talking about the one I came here a couple years ago. I was like, that wasn't that bad. It's yeah, like 14.02. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, how'd you feel about the result the today? Uh, yeah, solid. Um, you know, this is obviously a, a fun event to um, kind of check up on the on the fall fitness and break up training a little bit. So um, we've got a beautiful day here. I love coming to New York City. I obviously have a lot of family and friends that are still live in the area. And so, um, yeah, it was kind of a, a no-brainer to come out here and just kind of get a good effort. And so. Yeah, well, I was talking to Stephen Haas yesterday because he said you were staying with him and stuff. He's like, Centro's fit right now. He didn't tell me that. So I was curious, like, you know, do you normally go to Flagstaff this time of year, or why did you do that for this, like, sort of full... Yeah, yeah, no, good question. Um, I I had a um, a small set. Uh, I wouldn't even call it a setback. I had a kind of calf thing that like forced me to take a few days off in between Tokyo and Pre Classic and Fifth Ave. And throughout those weeks, I had a mental and a little bit of a physical break. So once the season technically was over, like after my last uh, road race, I guess went to Fifth Ave. Um, there was really no need for me to take a break when I had already taken kind of a mental and a physical one leading up to that. Um, and at my age, you know, the the longer you take off, the harder it is to kind of get back into shape. So. Jerry and I sat down and it was just like, hey, like, um, let's just kind of keep it going. And when we say keep it going, it was just like, just get back to doing like fart licks and, you know, like tempo stuff and nothing serious, but um, keep training sort of thing. And um, so everyone was on break and no one was really in Portland and um, including Jerry, who was kind of like, you know, traveling around watching his son race. And um, I thought it'd be a good idea to, while well, I'm building up a base to kind of get a little fall altitude. And Jerry was on board with that. And so... We both decided for me to go down there and, and kind of uh, spend a few weeks down there while other people were travel around enjoying their break from the team. And um, I got some great training in down there, got some little bit of altitude, and uh, I'll go back to Portland now and link back up with the team. So. Yeah. So did you talk to Jerry about like, do you have a sit down about the 2021 season? What did you guys make of your season this year? Um, Technically, not really. Like, we didn't really, like, kind of so sit down about it. I mean, well, I don't know if there's really much to talk about besides, like, today. obviously, we yeah. both expected uh, more out of me in Tokyo. Yeah. Um, you know, at the end of the day, like, I could sit I could sit around and spend hours and days, like, thinking of, like, what went right, what went wrong. And at the end of the day, like, it's not going to change anything, you know? Like, maybe, maybe for the future, but it's not going to change what happened this year. Um, I think, you know... Uh, we did what we thought was best for me to set me up for success in Tokyo, and um, and unfortunately I fell a little short of that. But at the end of the day, like it was a pretty solid year overall, especially how slow I started and uh, where I was able to kind of get to by the uh, summer. So yeah, I mean, obviously I just got to get better. I mean, I, I think him and I both know that I got to get stronger, I got to get faster, I got to get better, and I just wasn't. Um, better than any of those guys in Tokyo. So um, that's just kind of bottom line. Do you think you can get back to the level you were at a couple, I mean, a couple years ago? Because you're, th yeah. you're 32 now? 32, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the thing is, is at the end of the day, like I'm running, let's see, in early April, I'm running 150 for an 800, 150.9. Uh, so you're, t you're saying, technically you're saying 151. I'm running 340 for the 1500. In three or four months, it, that's pretty Baez, tough to go from a 150.9 open 800 20, to going through in that in the Olympic the final by the third yeah. round. Yeah. So I was Great kind of asking a lot of myself. Well. So that I think it's I think it's just more about like being fitter sooner, USA like USA being able like all those guys like Jakob ran through 31 indoors, you know, like Kerr was on a roll all year, Cherry was on. All these guys are rolling all years. When I have good years, I'm rolling all year. I'm not like MIA during the indoor season and then having a slow start like that. It's like pretty tough, a tough task to ask yourself to kind of show up a few months later. So just about getting better. And, and can I get better? Yeah, of course. I just need to do some things like this coming out here and, and uh, being ahead of the curve this year. So that's kind of what Jerry and I spoke about. And we're just going to kind of keep it rolling. And hopefully I have a really good indoor season where I've missed that in the last few years. So Yeah. Are you sticking with the 1500 then? Or any thinking of talking? I mean, yeah, th that I can't really. I mean, we just don't have an answer. It's not a secret. We just, I'm going to. Right now, between now and the new year, there's, the training would have changed regardless if I'm running the 15 or 5K next year. But um, yeah, I don't know. We, we don't. We haven't really decided on that. Um, fortunately, the training looks the same for both events right now. Oh, but it sounds like it's on the table. It's an option that you're thinking about. I mean, it's always been. Yeah. I mean, I thought I was gonna be a 5K guy sophomore year in college. Yeah. Um, who did I run? You know, who I ran into was uh, Chad Hall in Flagstaff. 
and uh, he was out there filming his brother Ryan and Chad Hall was my freshman year roommate at Oregon okay. and I haven't seen him in years and we both were catching up on the trail where we're like talking to each other and he's like I can't believe you stuck with the 15 for so many years he like brought that comment up and I was like I know I was supposed to go to the five back uh when I was 19 years old, you know? And yeah. so it's just funny because, uh, you know, I was primarily a two-mile in high school. And so, um, I mean, at the end of the day, like, you know, Jerry and I are going to decide on a, an event that's going to set me up for most success, you know? Whatever I can, whatever I feel like I can be competitive with at the world level, I'm going to run. And uh, right now, we just don't have an answer for you. So I don't, it's not a secret. Um, I just, we just don't know. So um, I'm going to train my ass off between now and the indoor season and run some mile races, over-distance races, and however things shake out, then we'll probably decide from there. Cool. Well, uh, nice run today. Hopefully we'll see you back here in a couple of months yeah, yeah. for Millrose. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. All right.